so a couple of days ago I was just surfing it up and I came across this little meme and uh, it probably won't blow any of your minds but it blew mine because I had no idea on the border was an American chain I've seen it around Korea quite a bit and uh, I've I've actually had it before I've had their chicken quesadilla and it was really good from what I remember um, I always figured it was just another Korean Mexican chain because there's quite a few of them around some pretty good ones, nothing truly spectacular. From all the years I lived in America, I had never seen it or heard of it. So I just figured it was another Korean chain and uh, I wrote it off as such. But this image like just like, uh, shook me up a little bit. So I, I looked it up and I went to the Wikipedia page and my mind got even a little bit more boggled. Yeah, it does confirm that it is American, but what it says is it operates over 150 restaurants within the United States and nine locations in South Korea, which I just, I, I still can't figure out why they would just, like Korea is, I don't know, but I'm, I, you know, they do, we do have a pretty infamous border here. Like, maybe that's okay. But either way, I, uh, you know, I had to try this out because the only other American Mexican chain in korea is taco bell which i love taco bell but i was looking for a little bit something you know a little bit of a an upgrade perhaps so um just uh, i got me some on the border let's see what i have here. four individually wrapped uh individually packaged bags of chips i think i'm gonna have to just do a timestamp on here so you can skip ahead because i feel like i'm gonna be rambling a little bit one thing that just obliterated my mind was their delivery menu here i don't know if that's the same uh in all nine locations here in korea but the menu selection was incredibly small um they didn't have any enchiladas they didn't have any fajitas they didn't have no nachos they didn't have any chimichangas um or really anything else they had burritos three different options for the burrito meat um it was like egg and they had what they call taco meat which i assume is beef is which is what i got and also had um they also had sausage. They also have tacos and quesadillas. Uh, only chicken. That's the only thing you can get. Which, I don't, again, I, that just confuses me. But I had to do what I got to, had to do. So they also have salads. And that's pretty much it on their delivery menu. I think their actual menu is a little bit better than that. But, uh, man, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know about that delivery menu. So... I got myself four things here. Hopefully I can unbox these all right. I got myself, of course, I'll tell you what, man. These, this right here, this was fire. Man, these uh, chicken quesadillas were freaking on point. I don't know if I've ever had a better quesadilla than this. I made some homemade quesadillas the other day, just cheese and, um, and I feel like, oh yeah, these these, these are going to be way better than those. Here's a little close-up of one of the quesadillas. Not going to be the hottest or freshest, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It's still going to eat. That's for damn sure. Um, then I got the chicken tacos as well. Those are over here. And these are looking good. Uh, kind of like a little Tex-Mex for sure. Uh, you can see that there's some cilantro on there, which I always respect. Um, a couple pieces of chicken, nothing crazy. I mean, two little little tacos like this. The price I paid for this, the whole thing, I don't know, remember the individual prices, but it all came out to about 30 bones. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. I, I don't really think too much about it. So I also got the what they call the taco meat burritos, which I, I'm hoping is beef. And I'm, I'm just going to guess it is. Um, those are... Those are over here. Let me just, yeah. So here, each one of these comes with salsa, by the way. I'm going back and forth. Here's the tacos. Man, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's looking all right. They have cabbage in it. I don't know if that's originally how they do it over in the States. But, uh, you know, cabbage on tacos, it's, it's a move. And here's the inside of the burrito. First thing I noticed with that is the corn. That screams Tex-Mex to me, which it is what it is. Oh, this is looking, all right. So the one wild card thing that they had on their menu that I was quite interested in was this. 
This is the what they call the taco rice. It's kind of looking like some Mexican style rice with taco meat and jalapenos and some guacamole, some hot sauce, sour cream, and some other random some tomatoes, on, onions, maybe, I don't know, cilantro. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take this out of here, so I'm just gonna put it here for now. This is looking real good. I'm really curious about this. You know, you might think, hey man, that looks like a burrito bowl. What's the difference? But I've never been a real big fan of burrito bowls. I feel like burrito bowls have become like a healthy option. Um, and then everyone's trying to market their burrito bowls as a healthy alternative. But this is straight up like, I don't think that's, no one was looking at this to when they're trying to eat some healthy food. It also gave me this pack, which is basically just full of, yeah, like plastic forks and napkins. So let's just get into uh, these chips. Not many chips in there. I mean, you're definitely not gonna get full eating these chips before you start your meal. There's like probably about 10 chips in there. Mm, yeah, they're good. And so they do kind of have that like authentic, you know, Mexican restaurant style uh, flavor. Not as fresh though, so. That could be a strike right off the bat. Here's a salsa. Mmm, okay. I like the salt, that tastes fresh to me. All right, let me get into this case of dill. Again, cheese, it ain't gonna be, you know, real, real stretchy and stringy but ain't nothing wrong with that. Sometimes the cheese is almost too stretchy and then you're like kind of greasing it up, but this is good, a nice little form. Let's try it out. Mm. Freaking on point, man, this is, this is mighty fine. I love, I don't know about y'all, Y'all might hate on On The Border. I mean, that's when I originally discovered that it was from America. It was kind of like on a meme that was kind of hating on it. In a way. Saying like suburban people, suburban folks think it's like a, you know, fine dining, but it's really just like cheap bows. But, um. Mmm. This is great. This is great. There's, uh, looks like some chilies and some, maybe some onions in there as well with, with the cheese. Great flavor. I would recommend this to anybody for sure. By the way, my son was feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit on the rocks. So this might end up being more of a taste test than a full-fledged mukbang, uh, but we'll see what happens. Here's again, you know, the chicken talk, chicken taco. I mean, um, there's only like two pieces of chicken, but they're pretty big pieces. I don't really have high hopes for this because there's no cheese on it, which doesn't always bother me. If you got some like really good tacos with some, uh, all you need really is maybe some cilantro and onions, but throwing cheese never hurts a taco. That's for damn sure. Yep. Yeah, okay. It's good, that is good. Um, it's got a kick to it, I, I appreciate the kick. A little spicy kick. Good flavor, like the cabbage in there doesn't bother me at all. The thing about this is I'm gonna assume that these were all around the same price. Again, this came out to like 30 bucks. So I'm gonna say like somewhere around seven bones for each one of these. These two tacos for seven bones is straight up blasphemy.
ridiculous. I'm gonna save that though, it's good. It is good, but it ain't seven bones good. Burrito. No, uh, it looks like they didn't throw it on the grill after they, they wrapped it up, which I like that. I like a soft burrito. I like a burrito that's rolled up and thrown back on the grill. Uh, both are good with me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. This is tasting real, again, real Tex Mex. Good kick to it. It's definitely a different flavor than the tacos. Um, it's not like they're just, uh, you know, adding the exact same flavors to each thing. So far, these have had different flavors. I got some Cholula, some Cholula by the way. Throw that on. I got to say, though, the, the burrito, I mean, it's not really doing that much for me. Again, I'd probably pay, like, I don't know if I would even pay anything for that. I just, I'm going to just try to take a pass on that. <clears throat> Last but not least, and the thing that I've been uh, most curious about is this. It's a taco bowl. Uh, Looking like an unhealthy burrito bowl, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give it a little. This is when you just need that giant spoon, man, I'll tell you. Mmm. Mmm. All right, all right. That's good. I really like that. I think it has a lot more creaminess. Um, maybe that sour cream in there is adding something. I feel like this right here would be perfect to just take your chips and scoop up like this. Yeah. I've never been a huge fan of uh, straight up kernel, kernels of corn in my, in my Mexican food. So, uh, I'm just not used to it. I just never, where I'm from, like. We just didn't really have it like that. Personally, I'd definitely replace all that corn with just straight up cheese. And then it would be even more up right up my alley. I'm just feel, I'm feeling like this is like, it almost tastes a little bit too healthy. Besides with these. Now, I don't know if they changed their menu. Um, for the Korean market, I feel like they might have for sure. Mm. Overall. I mean, definitely worth it eat for me. You know what I really feel like? Uh, with pretty much any Mexican food, ex except Taco, Taco Bell, excuse me. 
Taco Bell will get a quick pass because it, it's Taco Bell. But um, when it comes to like a sit, if you're sitting down eating ta- uh, Mexican food, the more number of restaurants you have, the the less I trust it. You know, I'm looking for like, I want one location. I feel like the spot that got one location, mom and pops here at local hole in the wall spot, is um, is going to be the best mix here. The ones where you um, you go in there, and uh, even my hometown had one. You go in there and you like, you talk to the guy at the counter. You order your food at the counter, but then he immediately just turns right to the guy sitting next to him and translate your order into Spanish. He just starts cooking it right there for you. Uh, and then they have like the the supermarket, like the freezers, like right next to, right next to it, and everything like, and it's cheap. That's that's the pinnacle uh, of like, it's the pinnacle. You know, this is almost like sellout Mexican. Now, that I, the more I eat it, the more I think about it. I think they're just trying to sell out. But that being said, on a Mexican like a all the out of all the Mexican food I've had in my life, this would be a low score to be honest. But just out of like a a food skill like. Especially for Korea, yeah, it's just good. Man, I've only got two minutes left, so I'm about to try to max this real quick. Stand by these quesadillas, though. Mm. That's some heartburn. All right, we got thirty seconds left. I really don't feel like fiddling with this no more. So I'm gonna play my intro as uh, as I eat this. So, well, uh, overall, overall great meal. Obviously I have maps it all. So up my alley. Is it up yours? I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. If you're in America, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.